Hello, good morning, and happy new month, happy second half of 2024. It's amazing. Father, we thank you. God has ensured that we all made it into the second half of the year. And thanksgiving, in fact, so much thanksgiving is in order. Father, we thank you. Our strength, we thank you. Our health, we thank you. Our career, we thank you. The lover of our soul, we thank you. And much more than enough, we thank you. Our God, who's carrying us through 2024, we thank you. Lord, thank you, Father, for the journey since January till June. Thank you, Father, for July 1st, starting today, Lord, through the end of this year. Lord, we thank you because we know we are finishing well. Thank you, our Father, for in Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. It's great. And interesting how this year, you know, seems to be running, but we thank God for all that he's doing. You know, yes, so today we're going to be doing a bit of Thanksgiving. Now, Thanksgiving isn't something we do uh, just occasionally, right? So our Thanksgiving has to be continuous. Just on this prayer today, I just want us to you know, do a bit more. Thanking God in advance for what is going to happen in the second half of the year. Right, we do not know what the you know the meaning half of the year holds, but we know the God who holds the meaning half of the year. We're going to be thanking Him today, and also we're going to be asking for His help. We're going to be asking for His help, and the scripture we're going to be praying from is from the book of Genesis, chapter 39. Genesis, chapter 39, and quickly I'm going to read from verse 2. I'll read from verse 2 to 5. I'll read from verse 2 to 5. I don't know about you, but it's only for me. The remaining part of this year, I am leveraging the help of God. No matter what I can, you know, attain by my power, no matter what I can attain by my strength, no matter you know, what I have strategized or, have, you know, the plans that I have, and even though they are coming, you know, up quite well, but I tell you, the help of God brings you know, it brings it brings a beauty you cannot explain. It brings a beauty you cannot explain. It brings a success you cannot, the kind of success you cannot explain. Why? Because it's not the one, you know, by a power. So I'm going to read from verse 2. This is Genesis 39. I'll read verses 2 to 5. And it says, The Lord was with Joseph. And so he succeeded in everything he did as he served in the home of his Egyptian master. The Lord was with Joseph, so he succeeded in everything. How amazing. How, how amazing would it feel if every single thing that you put your hands to do, you know, you succeed. And the Bible is saying that is possible. And it's possible when the Lord is with you. And it says that, Joseph succeeded in every single thing he did as he served in the house of his Egyptian master. So this is not just, okay, just every random thing. But as he did his work, right, as he did his work and served in that place that, you know, he had found himself. He was taken captive, you know, enslaved, but he still served with all his heart. And the Bible says that the Lord was was with him. And because God was with him, he succeeded in every single thing that he did. And verse 3 says, And Potiphar noticed this and realized that the Lord was with Joseph. How do you feel when everyone around you notices the serial success? Because it was a serial success with Joseph. And of course, the person who had put him in charge would notice. And Bible said he noticed and he realized there was something different about this guy. He noticed and he realized you know, that the hand of you know a supernatural being it wasn't as if the guy believed in God. But what he was seeing in the life of Joseph told him there is an hand of a supernatural being involved in this. Bible says he noticed and real he noticed this and realized <clears throat> excuse me and realized that the Lord was with Joseph. 
giving him success in everything he did. Giving him success in everything he did. And smart boss. The Bible says this pleased Potiphar. So he soon made Joseph his personal attendant. He put him in charge of his entire household and every single thing he owned. He noticed the hand of the Lord. And of course he was a smart boss. He noticed the hand of the Lord. So he pushed everything to Joseph. That as long as everything that belongs to me is in the care of this guy. I know that the hand of God will reflect it there. And verse 5 says that from the day Joseph was put in charge of his master's household and property, the Lord began to bless Potiphar's house for Joseph's sake. How amazing. How amazing. And he said, all his household affairs ran smoothly and his crops and livestock flourished. Mm -hmm. his crops and livestock so every single thing that belongs to Potiphar because of Joseph the Bible says God prospered them and this is what I want us to yes that was Joseph's place of work at the time though he was a slave but that was where he was he has been deployed and he was working and this is what I want us to pray today you know as we thank God for the remaining part of 2024 mm -hmm. I want us to just Ask, Lord, I ask for your help. He is the helper of men. He is the lifter of men. He is the one who raises men. Now, because God was with Joseph and caused him to succeed, what happened? The eyes of his boss opened to the fact that, no, something supernatural is happening around this guy. And that led to Joseph's promotion. That led to his promotion. And in the name of Jesus, the Lord is going to be with you. The Lord's mighty hand will be seen around you and concerning everything that you are put in charge of. And it will lead to your promotion in the name of Jesus. So I want us just, you know, pray and lift God up and tell him thank you. Father, we see your hand. Since the 1st of January 2024, Till the 30th of June 2024, Father, we saw your mighty hand. Lord, we saw your mighty hand. If not for those hands, we will not be here. Uh, if not for your, for your hands, we will not be here. We know that the enemy rages and the enemy has been looking, going to and fro, seeking whom to devour. Father, thank you because you preserved us, you preserved our family, you preserved our husband, our children, our wives, you preserved everyone connected to us. Lord, you preserved and blessed the works of our hand. Lord, even in the middle of hardship, you preserved and blessed the works of our hand. Father, we thank you for the first half of 2024 and those amazing things you've done, the one that we have seen the outcomes, the one that are still in the pipeline. Lord, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the remaining part of 2024, starting today, July 2024, first of July to the end of the year 2024. Father, we thank you in advance, oh God. We thank you in advance, oh God. You are the one who knows the end from the beginning. You are the one who knows the end from the beginning. Lord, we thank you because we know that you've already planned out the remaining part of this year. You've already figured it out. Even though we do not have an idea of what it's looking like, you figured it out. You've laid out everything that is going to happen in the remaining part of this year. Lord, we thank you because our God, we know that you have our back. We know that you have our back. We we know that you have our back. We know you go ahead of us. We know you watch our back. Father, we know we do not walk alone. We know you hold our hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because the Bible says that this is the reason. Christ says this is the reason that I have come. He says I have come that they may have life. That they may have life. That I may have life. That you may have life. Christ says this is the reason why I have come. That they may have abundance of life. Not just any other kind of life. Not the kind of life to be managed. He says abundance kind of life. He said the one far beyond the expectation that we have. 
Father, we thank you. We thank you for the abundance of life that you have planned, oh God, for us for the remaining part of this year. We thank you for the abundance of life. The Bible says that not the kind that we expect. It says until we come to an overflow. He says, until we come to an overflow, Father, we thank you for this abundance of life that is taking us to an overflow. Father, until our goodness flows to the ends of the nation, flow to the ends of the world. Father, thank you. Thank you, sweet Abba. Lord, we thank you. Father, because you are the remaining part of this year. Father, in your care, in your hands, we thank you. Father, because it's going to be a blessed and amazing time for us in the name of Jesus. When men are saying there is a casting down, we are saying there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus. This 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 remaining part of the year, our story is different. When things are tough, we say things are not tough for us. We say they are easy for us. We say they are smooth for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, our Father, we thank you. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Glory. Lord, just the way you help Joseph, Father, we ask for your help. Lord, that you will be with us, Lord, and indeed your mighty ends will be seen in everything that concerns us. Everything that we touch, they turn to gold. Father, why? Because you're there. Father, you prosper. The organization will work. You prosper. The industry will play. Father, for our sake, Lord, and men will see and they will know. You prosper the, 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 the business that we run in the name of Jesus. Father, you prosper them because your presence is there. Lord, and for our sake, you prosper them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We say in the name of Jesus, our family prosper. Because the Bible says the household of 45 prospered. We say because, oh God, you've put us in this family. We decree that our families prosper. Our husband and wives prosper. Our children prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory, because this remaining part of this year, we are helped by the Lord and everything around us, everything we touch, they prosper without limits in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. And if you're here, you want to know Jesus, right? The story of Joseph was because he knew God and God was with him. For God to be with you, to help you, you have to know him. And I want to invite you this morning to say this one minute prayer with me if you're yet to know Jesus. And say please after me, Lord Jesus, I come before you today. I say I forsake my old ways. I ask that you forgive me and help me, Lord. Bring me right into your kingdom. Help me, Lord, to walk with you and bring you pleasure all the days of my life. Father, forgive all my sins. I declare that today I am born again. I relinquish my old ways and I say in the name of Jesus, Lord, I cross from death to life in you forever today. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' powerful name, we've prayed. Amen. And if you said the prayer, now you belong to Jesus. He loves you and he would want to hear from you. So do well to download it by application on your phone so you can, you know, engage with God's word and God will reveal himself more to you. And also do well to reach out to Jesus in prayer. He's waiting to hear from you. The Lord bless you. I declare that this month, July, starting, beginning the remaining half of 2024, is a spectacular one for you. The help of the Lord will go ahead of you. And his presence, his glory, success will be seen in everything that concerns you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. Do have a fantastic month and a blessed week ahead. In Jesus' name, amen.